we're not only characterizing the wealth of these this market participants, but we're also providing the right mathematical tools that they should use when interacting with these trading venues. So I am Faisal Drissi and I will talk about uh, predictable losses and optimal liquidity provision in automated market makers. Okay, so uh, the research is about uh, liquidity provision in these new trading venues, right? The traditional way where uh, market participants interact is through LOBs, limits order books, where orders of makers of liquidity and takers of liquidity are matched, right? Whereas in these new trading venues, everything happens through liquidity pooling, right? So you have liquidity providers that will put their money somewhere and liquidity takers which will use the money to fill the trades. And this new way of doing things introduce uh, new problems of trading and the research is about providing the right mathematical tools for market participants to interact in the right way with these uh, new trading venues. The, the paper focuses on liquidity provision, right? You have two ways of interacting with the markets. Either you are a taker, for example, you want to buy or sell something, or you are a provider or a market maker. Um, in this paper, we focus on liquidity provision, right? Uh, the, in, in traditional markets, uh, the way to do this is to post limit orders around the reference price and try to make money out of uh, round trip trades. Whereas here, what you do is you put your money in the pool and you, we say that you concentrate your liquidity. You can put your liquidity to use for liquidity takers in a very specific range of prices. Well, in this paper, what we do is we give you a mathematical model that would give you the optimal uh, range of prices where you should post your liquidity in a way that will uh, yeah, maximize your profits as a liquidity provider. I would say that the risk is similar for whatever model that you would use for financial decision, especially when you use stochastic analysis. The way we do this is you have assumptions on how things operate and how things go in markets, right? You would have models that describe the dynamics of everything. Then you take these dynamics, then you take a performance criterion of, of, of some agent, and then you would have an optimal strategy to do something, right? Well, the risk, the main risk is how can I estimate my inputs so I have the best output, right? It's optimal if the inputs are right, but it's, it gives you the best output provided what you take as inputs. For example, here in, in the paper, a very good example is that when you are a liquidity provider, you have this trade-off between how profitable the, the, your activity can be and how risky is the asset that you're providing liquidity for. And of course, when you're, taking, when you're talking about profitability and volatility, well, you have many, many ways of estimating both of them, right? But if you, for, for whichever model that you're gonna use to estimate both of them, you're gonna have a different output. So the risk I would say is to estimate these things wrongly. You have to be very careful on how to estimate the inputs that you put in the models. And this is a general thing for, for any financial decision problem. Okay, well, uh, so these trading venues are, are, are very new and a lot of people lose a lot of money there because they don't know how it operates. So I would say the very first uh, people that should use the results of the paper are market operators that interact with these markets. I think it's very important that they use the right tools when trading uh, in these venues. They have to understand the market impact of what they're doing and they have to understand what is the performance or at least the expected performance from doing things this way or the other way. So I would say that the audience would be first market participants, right? Uh, and the second is of course, uh, for academia to uh, think a bit more, uh, a bit more about how, which right models should be used uh, to interact with these trading venues. So, both uh, academics and, of course, uh, market operators. Yeah.